Tonight, first 23 ABC's Kem Essenci was in the courtroom today when the sentence was officially read. And he has the family's reaction to the sentence they say will never be long enough. Ken, good evening. Yeah, Tim and Jackie, lots of emotion in the courtroom as friends and family of Leslie Balderrama faced Macias and Gomes before they were sentenced. And Macias, who was the driver, will spend four years in prison, while Gomes, who got out of the car to check on Balderrama after they hit her, will serve 180 days. A family still trying to comprehend what happened to 14 year old Leslie Balderrama on October 10, 2015. Balderrama was hit while walking home from a friend's house that October morning. Police reports show that Macias struck Balderrama with a side mirror while driving his work vehicle on State Route 202. I think at times the I didn't see any remorse in, in the boys at all. The reports say Gomes, who was a passenger, got out of the car, but neither called for help and drove away. Gomes later told officers she didn't look like she got that messed up. I was able to look them both in the eyes and tell them what they had done to our family and how much pain they had caused. Both admitted to drinking the night of the accident. Now Macias will spend four years in prison for driving and hitting Balderrama. Gomes was sentenced to 180 days as part of his probation. A sentence Balderrama's family feels is light. I feel the passenger should have gotten more time because he was the one that looked at her and stood over her and then told the driver, oh no, she's okay, let's go. Now family and friends hope to continue to heal, knowing that Macias and Gomes will pay for their actions from that night. Now it's, it's going to kind of close the chapter, but we move forward um, remembering Leslie consistently and knowing as a community we have to heal. This was a small town event that could have been prevented by not drinking and driving. Neither Macias nor Gomes spoke at today's sentencing. And while this is the end of their criminal trial, there are still civil cases pending between Macias, Gomes, and the Balderrama family. Live in downtown Bakersfield, Ken Masenchi, 23 ABC. Students at high